they just talk to the manufacturer, they don't make them any bigger than this without having to do assembly on site. We have to do post and or pre and post inspections on the rid bridges and roads. They came all the way into Wisconsin, stopped in Baraboo, and they started up at midnight each night and got into town around 2 o'clock in the morning, came into the site, and then uh, we were breaking them down about 5 in the morning, consecutive night, so uh, it was a busy week. These are as large as the boiler can come pre-manufactured without manufacturing them on site or assembling them on site. So it's about as big as a packed boiler you're ever going to see roll down the road. Boilers themselves weigh 240,000 pounds. Um, it's a, really a big box in there with some refractory. Like, yeah. They're pretty hefty. Pretty hefty. Uh, the boilers actually, because of height restrictions for the roads and the bridges they have to come under, are rolled right now. They're on their sides. As you're looking at them, the brown steel on the bottom uh, is actually the side of the boiler. We're going to be hooking onto the top drum as well as the picking lugs, which are the yellow lugs sticking up there. Rotate the boiler, uh, set it down temporarily where we'll take off the shipping frame on the bottom of the red steel. Well, at that point, we'll also put slide plates on and then we'll put them on a, a slide track that Barnhart has provided, which will then erect them and put them into the building itself. So, gold hopper, I don't know if you can see it, down on the far end, it gets set on a rail system. We'll drive the gold hopper over to the other side of the building, which will hook into an existing slide track in the building. Put the boilers in, jack them up, pull the, assist, the slide track out from underneath it, and then set the boilers down. Uh, at that point, the gold hopper will come back. We'll rotate the second boiler this evening, set it on the gold hopper, uh, jump the track tomorrow.